angels being crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of God should taste death for men now it is that word taste that I'm more concerned about because you see a mother that has a little baby will not make hot porridge and put it in the in the in the mouth of the child without first tasting the porridge the mother will first put the porridge in a spoon make sure that they regulate the temperature and when the mother is happy that this temperature is now fit enough to go into the mouth of my baby that is when they put the porridge into the baby's mouth now the bible says that jesus christ tasted death for mankind what that basically means is that there is absolutely nothing that can come to you and me that hasn't gone through jesus christ and as long as it has gone through jesus christ we rest assured that it's been regulated because had it not been regulated, then you and I would not be able to withstand it. And hence the apostle comes to us and he says, We should count it all joy when we fall into diverse troubles and temptations. For therein our faith is perfected. And we know that God shall forever strengthen us. Because if he allows it to come to us, then he's taken care of it. It's just my encouragement to somebody now that whatever temptations that come to you, rest assured that knowing that Jesus Christ has already handled them. And may God richly bless us. Father, we thank you so much for this day. 
Dear God, we ask that our souls may be a different people when we leave this place, dear God. We pray for all those that are listening, dear God, that you might be a blessing unto them, dear God. All that we ask from you, dear God, is that you may be with us, dear God, when we are happy, when we are sad. Please remain our God. Forever we will give glory to you, for you are our creator. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.